Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we are here to talk about how to deal with math anxiety. Now, a lot of people do have various types of math anxiety, and we're going to talk about what some of those types would be and to address some strategies on dealing with math anxiety. All you really need for this exercise are really an open mind, time, and patience. So, here we go. Now, author Paul Nolting has written quite a few essays and books on overcoming math anxiety and he cited three types of the most common kinds of math anxiety. The first of which is math test anxiety. It's been said that a lot of students understand the material while it's being covered in class, but for whatever reason when it comes to taking the math tests, something happens and they don't do as well as they would like. Now another type of math anxiety would be numerical anxiety and that's related to dealing with numbers. Some folks just get either the numbers mixed up or they just have a apprehension about dealing with numbers in general and their operations. And some folks have what's called an abstraction anxiety where anything involving variables, whether it be X, Y, or you know letters in general, they just have, again, a wall built up when it comes to dealing with those. If it's not numbers, they might have trouble with it would be letters and some folks have a combination of those three or perhaps all three involved. Now here are some strategies on how to deal with math anxiety. First of all the most important part arguably would be to keep an open mind. If students treated math as they would any other topic then they would give themselves a much better chance of succeeding. What happens often is that when students take math courses, they build up a wall thinking that for whatever reason that they can't do it, whether it be a family history or they might be retaking the class. But if they have an apprehension going in, then they've s sold themselves short. But if they go into a math course with an open mind, then they've already reached that goal halfway from a psychological perspective. Don't be afraid to ask questions. The instructor is there to help you, and so don't be afraid to ask as many questions, whether it be in class or if they have time outside of class. Again, whatever it takes to help you learn the topic. Also important is to make the commitment. Again, treat a math course as you would any other class. It's been said that for every hour you meet in class, you should devote three hours outside of class. So definitely set aside the time for it, and the more practice you have with a math course, the better that you'll get at it. Instead of trying to memorize everything, try to logically walk through the different processes and hopefully over time, math will make sense to you. Reading the book, very important indeed. Chances are that the textbook that you have will offer a lot of nice little tips that the instructor might not have covered and so you might learn a few shortcuts along the way. And lastly, develop responsibility for successes and failures. If you discover that you've succeeded in certain parts of your math course, then by all means give yourself as much credit as possible. But for whatever reason there are some failures in the, in the math course, then talk about what you can do to correct those failures and do better in the future. But these are some basic strategies to help you get started. And I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to deal with math anxiety.